then gagging gagging mean when some object is introduced by someone into the mouth into the respiratory passages gagging is that some material is introduced into the respiratory passages and it occludes the air passages hence the asphyxia will be occur so gagging mean to cause choking to effect choking and prevent the entry of air through mouth and nose by in pushing the gag and gag commonly they are small piece of cloth usually handkerchief or any ready will available material which is lying by is stuffed into the mouth and that is gagging it not only fills the respiratory passages but it also fills the back of the throat so the whole track is being stuffed up and what happens it at initially when some material is pushed in initially through the pores the respiration can continue a little bit through the pores of the cloth but after some time the saliva the mucus and the irritating material which is being liberated from the glands it will soak that cloth and the pores will be clogged and then the suffocation will occur in autopsy it is important to look for the tongue it may be bitten it may be bruised and the bite marks the position they all should be studied at autopsy and in in epileptics usually there is a history previous history and the position of the tongue and other relevant material then usually the children they get choked by swallowing some material any any material the pebble the coins the beads and the these things will be found at autopsy during in the respiratory passages again we should help the child if it is nearby with the hemlich maneuver